So in this video I'll be explaining first gear torque and why you have greater acceleration when you're in first gear. So here's the setup we've got. We've got the engine connected to a gear and the transmission which is connected to a larger gear going to the differential. The engine gear is going to be 2 inches and then the gear going toward the differential is going to be 4 inches. So we're going to have a gear ratio of 2 to 1. Uh, so we've got the 2 inch driving gear and the 4 inch driven gear. So the ratio of the torques is going to be the torque output, the torque of this gear here going to the differential over the torque input, the torque coming from the engine going to this gear is going to be equivalent to the gear ratio. The gear ratio is going to be 2 to 1. So let's just say our engine has a torque of 100 foot-pounds. Well the output torque going to the differential is going to be 2, the gear ratio, times the torque input, 100 foot-pounds. So that's going to be 200 foot-pounds. So effectively using a driven gear two times the pitch diameter of the driving gear, you're going to double the torque going to the wheels. So that's why you're going to have a greater acceleration than if you're in second gear. Say second gear had a ratio of 1.5, well then you'd only have 150 foot-pounds going to the differential. Now, where does this come from, this equation right here? So if you've got two gears, here's the first one, the, driven, the driving gear, and here's the second one, the driven gear. And so this has a radius of 1 inch, this one has a radius of 2 inches. So we have our torque input, which is 100 foot-pounds, and we want to convert that to inch-pounds for this. So we're going to do, multiply that by 12, you're going to have 1,200 inch-pounds. Now we want to find out what this force is right here. So the force times the radius of this shaft will give you the torque. We know the torque is 1,200 inch-pounds, we know the radius is 1, so that force is going to be equal to 1,200 pounds. Alright, so now that we know that force is 1,200 pounds, we've got 1,200 pounds of force coming down on this gear. So 1,200 times the 2 inch radius is going to be 2,400 inch pounds. If you divide this 2,400 inch pounds by 12, you're going to get 200 foot pounds. That's just converting it back. So that 200 foot pounds is the same we calculated earlier. Uh, for the output of the differential with that. So that's where this equation right here comes from.